What is up, YouTube? Bunny Films here with a brand new video, and we are back in Farming and Friends with a fresh video. So it's not going to be anything too exciting because, if I am honest, um, there's not really much left for me to do in this game. And we've pretty much done everything we can. I mean, there's furnished the house, but even the house. Well, I mean, we probably furnished that for a video. I mean, now that I'm in the game, I'm starting to think of things. But that's one of the reasons why there hasn't been a Farming and Friends video in such a long time. However, I hope you're all having very good days. I know it's been a while since my last upload i'm not really going to go too much into detail other than i've been too busy and i've been transitioning my life so yeah i'm just getting back in the groove but we're going to just be it's going to be a short video today we're just talking about a brand new game well not brand new but the return of a game pass to farming and friends so if you go ahead and press the shopping cart up here you can see that you can buy the 1950s truck pack for 12 more days only so it could return in the future who knows but right now it is back so it was released a few months ago i actually did a video covering all of the vehicles included in the game pass which i'll have linked in the description below if you have any interest in it because i don't actually own the game pass i figured i would just share that just in case anyone who's new to the game was actually interested in getting it and you can see the full review of all of the equipment me driving it around etc in that video so it is about 850 Robux, which is very, ex well, not very, but I consider it expensive, um, especially compared to other game passes, but it does help you unlock several trucks. And I think it actually includes four, if I'm not mistaken. You have the crop truck, the milk truck, the log truck, and then you also have this truck right here, which is just like a 1950s pickup truck, which looks pretty cool. And then touching on another subject, if you do have any interest on racing through my farm, uh, the race course will still be around for at least a few more days before I do tear it down just to make way for some more farmland because this is taking up too much space and I can't really make any or I can't grow any crops until I actually uh, get it out of the way. So just for a few more days, it'll be around. I don't know when I'll next be in or in farming and friends. So be sure to catch me if you do want to um try out this track while I'm in this game but again it'll only be around for a few more days before we destroy it and start planting some potatoes to make more money because we spent I'd say maybe a million dollars on this well probably more I don't know we spent a lot of money on this racetrack so I want to get some of it back by destroying all of the furniture and buildings and we actually do have a few people who do want to race on this race course. So oh, actually one person, I think for now, but we're just going to go ahead. We're going to open up all of the gates because whenever you do unload your farm, when you leave the game, well, all of the gates do close. So you have to go around and open up every single one. And I just have a lot of gates down because, oh gosh, wait, there's something invisible here, but I don't know what. Okay, it was, that was weird. Maybe it was lie or something. I don't know. But uh, we do have someone who wants to race, so we're probably going to race them really quickly. No prizes, though, uh, just because I don't really have time or the money to actually give anything out. But we we did give away almost a million dollars worth of prizes when we did that racing video a few, well, maybe a month ago, I'd say. It's been a while. And one thing I have noticed recently with Farming and Friends is that there's been a general slowdown of updates to the game. So I don't know what the status is um like when the next updates will be all i know is that there's a game pass added or well, yeah not really added but re-added to the game which lets you buy the 1950s truck pass which is what this video is about so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna let uh man boy let's see let's whitelist man boy there we go it's really tempting to press that button because it's like big x button close the menu uh but we're gonna go ahead and race um three two one go Okay, so I do get a sort of head start because I'm the one doing the countdown, if that makes any sense. So I'm probably going to, let's see. No, you go through there, you get stuck. I'm trying a different way this time. Yeah, see, if you go through there, you, you do slightly get stuck. But he is in first place, and wow, he just ran me into the wall. How nice of him. Okay, so next up, we are in the equipment yard. Look at that, all the trucks and stuff. And now we are in the farmyard with no crops because I got too lazy to plant anything. But... I did have help from, I, I, I wish I remembered who it was. It was so long ago, but someone did help a lot with farming this little field here, which actually took a lot longer than it should have just because, um, oh, we got a rainbow tractor, copyrighted music. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I think it, it supposedly is copyrighted, but I've never had any problems with it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead. Oh, gosh. I got stuck there this last time. Let's see. Are we going this way around? 
I don't know which way. It's, it's different every time just because it's so loosely regulated over there because you could either go around the trees or you can go through that little hole there, which I originally intended it for it to be. But, oh no, I got second place. What am I going to do with my life? I am a failure. Uh-oh. Yay, GG. Hi. Oh yeah, and by the way, about the rainbow tractor, um, only, I think te it's either developers or testers. I don't even know who Mo is, to be honest. I'm, get oh, it's, I'm guessing it's Mojave Tortoise, but I think if you're a tester or a developer, you do get access. Let's see, I need to fix my shift lock really quickly. Yeah. So if you do, um, if you are a tester or a developer of the game, you do have access to the rainbow tractor, which only you have access to. You can't buy it from anywhere and it's rainbow and it goes super fast and plays fun music. But that is it for today's video. Everyone, I know it was rather short, but I'm, like again, or like I said, again, Farming and Friends hasn't really received any major updates recently, but I'm here to cover any changes to the game. So make sure you do subscribe or uh, like the video to show your support. Before we do end today's video, I do owe a shout out to all of my Discord server boosters and channel members. So so shoutouts go out to Nago Films, The ISS, Seraph, Admitting, Aseptic, D um, Deep Freeze TV, Devang, Finbar, Flame Boy, um, Fun Runner, Hacker, Hero, It's Me, The Knob, Just Bra, Kami No Yanni, King Ryan, Elsay, Nazav, Russell, SCVRB, Serum, Strum, 30 Plays, UA, Wither X, and WSL Plays. So that's it. Oh, and Yellow blends into the floor just, or the road just a tad bit. But I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!